portion of the Excel Events video series, we'll show you how to add silent auction items to your event. So first we'll start either on the add auction item section of your event checklist, or you can always click over on the left here under silent auction, add items. There's two ways you can add items. The first is to add them individually. The second is to import items using a CSV template, which we provide for you. For this example, I'll show you how to add an item one by one. So to start, you'll click on the add item option. You'll see a new field will pop up here where you can add everything from your event name to item images. I'll start by adding my item name, all this Zach's. And come up with your own three letter item code. This is the code that your bidders will text. You can put in your starting bid amount. You can add a buy it now price if you'd like. I won't add one in this example. You can also create an optional bid increment. You have a default bid increment, which you can edit in your auction settings, but you can also have individual bid increments for each item. For this item, I'll have a $25 bid increment. Finally, you can add your items to different categories and create your own categories in the auctions. If you scroll down here, there's a few options. One will be adding in your own item description. This could be as long as you'd like or as short as you'd like. Here I'll do a short example just because this is a demo item. You have your description in. The last part will be to add in your item images. Here you can drag and drop or add any files that are on your computer. You can have as many of these as you'd like. It's really up to you. Um, here I will pull in just our Excel events logo. You'll see that it uploads really easily. As you're adding your items, everything saves automatically. So there's nothing else you need to do here. You can always delete the item if you like or minimize the screen. Once you have multiple items, you can simply drag and drop to change the order or right click if you'd like to add that item to the top or bottom of your list.